Welcome to my channel, Smoke, Steam and Swore. I'm Tom and I've always been passionate about engineering. I've made this channel to show you things I make and have made and how I do it. This is the first video of a three part series. In this part I will show you my design and how I machine the base, the tank and the lid. In part two I will make the internals of the oil can and in part three I will be assembling and giving people the opportunity to try and win the oil can. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's draw a rough sketch to get started. We will need brass base, brass tank, brass lid, Brass tube, stainless steel bolts, Stock selected, let's get started. I'm going to start by making the base out of this piece of stock brass. The first step will be to reface the end. That's the end refaced. Right, next step is to bore a 26 millimeter hole in the end of this piece of stock, two millimeters deep to house the oil tank sleeve. About 24 mil, so we'll fill in a bit more and then we'll take the outside out to the correct side. <laughs> Ready for the next step. I've marked the piece out, it's nine millimeters. Uh, I'll give myself a little bit more leeway, then I'm going to turn the whole thing down to 32 mil, which is the widest point of the base. I've 
I've now turned the whole thing down to 32 mil. It's nine mil from there to there. I'm gonna put the taper on it now. Taper complete. I'm just about to part the bottom piece off the piece of stock. I'll give myself a little bit more than I need, ready for refacing at the end. I'm going to see how far I can get with the parting off tool. I might have to finish it with the hacksaw. The base piece is nearly complete, just got to reface the bottom side. I've turned this piece of stock aluminium down to the same size as the hole with a really good interference bit. I'm going to lock tight this piece to this piece on there, let it set for a little while and then I'm going to reface this gently and then warm it up to get it off. It's been about 15 minutes, the lock tight should have gone off. I'm going to slowly cut it and hope for the best. bottom part's complete. I'm very happy how it's come out. I'm ready to move on to the next part which is the tank. This piece of stock that I've got mounted in the machine I'm going to make the oil tank out of. I'm going to turn the outside diameter down to 26 millimetres. Turned down the outside diameter to the correct size. Time to bore the inside diameter out to the correct size, 24 millimeters. I thought I'd cut this piece off to save turning it into swarm. The work piece is all swapped around in a chuck. I'm just about to bore the center out. <laughs>
the oil tank complete. Now we can move on to the final stage of this video, making the lid. Really happy about that come out. Good for size, looks lovely. I'm about to make the lid. This is the final piece to this video. I'm gonna make it out of the same piece of stock I made the, the bottom out of. This is the base design for the lid and now the next step is to bore a hole in the end 26mm in diameter, 2mm deep, similar uh, steps to the base. is nearly in its final stages it will soon be parted off i'm just going to put a hole through the center this will all make sense in the second video This is the final stage of machining in part one, parting off the lid. Just a quick reface and that's the lid done. So there you have it, the base, the tank and the lid, all made ready for part two. I hope you enjoyed part one and my first video on this channel. Please be sure to like and subscribe for part two. On that note, that's the end of part one. See you soon.